Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. It's such a pleasure to be able to speak to both of you today. Um, maybe you could just kick off with a brief introduction to this second season. Um, what can fans expect, um, both in terms of this, the, the direction it takes in general, but also specifically for your characters? Well, Diana Tavner is still number two. <laughs> not bitter. Not, not bitter at all. And, um, you know, there are some... It, it, it goes outside the Slough House, Regent's Park. It goes outside the, the London, the gritty London um, world into a... It goes much broader. Um, we go to the countryside. Um, it's... Yeah, it's, it's actually... It has very, very surprisingly moving moments in it as well, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for your character, maybe in particular, um, the river, I mean, he kind of still still feels like he's not getting where he wants to go, but now he's going undercover, so he has lots of new adventures in, in that respect. Yeah, I think uh, the, the, uh, in the first one, the adventure or, or mission um, was sort of an accident. It's a sort of, it, it, it wasn't a sort of here, this is what you're going to do. And he gets that, you know, wonderful moment that I imagine they all relish is when they, you know, get handed a file and a fake ID and this is who you're going to be. So it's probably everything he's ever dreamed of since he was a kid. Uh, so it's wonderful to give him that prize um, and then how it, how it then evolves. And of course, the series based on the amazing books by Mick Heron and wonderful script from, from Will Smith. Um, and there's just so much in it, you know, the dark humour, the witty dialogue, kind of the misfits and the underdog stories. What has been um, appealing to you for being part of the series in general and also having the opportunity to revisit your characters and perhaps, you know, take them into different directions and consider their backstories even more? I mean, it, I think with anything like this, the, the, exactly what you just said, the opportunity to take them further and keep exploring them is what's so um, uh, lovely about long form TV. Um, and, uh, you know, the life of the, of your character doesn't end, you know, at the end of a sort of two hour film. So it's, it's lovely to get the opportunity to do that. And also the unknown of we don't really know where they are going to be taken is quite nice. It's quite nice. You're talking about um, uh, co coming back to something. Um, we've never really left it for a start <laughs> because we did um, we did series two straight away after series one. In fact, there was a bit of overlap even. Um, and now we're doing series season Three. series series season. I don't you. know the difference. There's, there isn't uh, one. What's the difference between a series and a season? Uh, I mean, one one you can also one's a, ba a, ba a word used in baseball, and another is a you know, but you can use it in say? fashion. You can see either season or series. It's the same thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know which one's cooler. Okay. <laughs> so we're doing the third lot, third batch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, as you can tell, I'm new to this. Um, it's, 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 it's harder than doing a, a, just a straightforward film because you have to keep it there in your head for longer and you have to dip in with less regularity. So... Um, you know, you have to be prepared all the time. Um, and so you and you have to keep so many different threads kind of still alive in your head that it's it can be quite challenging. Um, uh, that sort of thing I find quite exciting. And it's such an amazing, diverse cast and kind of an ensemble. Um, and so maybe, you know, can you talk a bit about being able to work with each other and then perhaps when you come back to do a second season, you know, you've got more of a shorthand. And of course, you know, working with Gary Oldman and I was looking back at interviews, you know, from when he did Nil by Mouth and he's such a fascinating person and talent. And I wonder what it's like working opposite him, you know, him playing Jackson Lamb. Um, I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's the gift that keeps on giving working with Gary, um, but working with everyone, really, the, the, the group of actors that they've assembled for this is, is fantastic. Um, and um, we're led, you know, brilliantly by Gary, but everybody is um, is fantastic. And the, the, the people that are being added in this one is also quite exciting. Um, and the the as we saw in the first season, the other thing of um, he's not afraid of killing people, Mick Heron, you know, and if you know the books and if you know the first season, it's... Um, it's quite different in that sense that you, you can start to follow a character and he just gets rid of them. It's brutal, um, like you saw with, with um, Olivia Coop's character. So, uh, 
it's uh, it's definitely it's like it is literally like slow horses. It's like turning up to work, not knowing if you're gonna mm. come back. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you ultimately think can, people can take away? Because I guess there's kind of the 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 level of, you know, it being kind of not knowing what's going to happen next, being on the edge of your seat. Um, but also there's that feeling of it being kind of a family of misfits and the loyalty that's there. And these people that work away, perhaps in the background, they're not making the headlines and keeping us safe every day. I, I mean, I hope they're like this lot. I hope the people that really are keeping us safe are exactly like this. <laughs> I hope that they are making countless mistakes, but then rectifying them very quickly. I hope they've got their own, you know, lives. And um, it, it, it would be lovely to think of them like that. I do hope that there's a lamb somewhere, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. I hope that we, 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 that he's still operating in some sense. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I do hope that they, 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 they solve their problems with a bit less carnage than we do. <laughs> Um, There's quite a lot of carnage in this one. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. But they always rectify it, you know? Mm. They're triers. Yeah. <laughs> Not there's quite a lot, James Bond. Of, um, yeah, I think the thing I like about series two is 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 where it where we go physically, that we go to a different part of the, the country. Um, because you often with spy type things, it's very urban. And there we go to mm -hmm. the middle of nowhere in the Cotswolds, um, where everything looks completely perfect, but there's a sort of undercurrent of something more threatening. Mm -hmm. I like that. I think I'm out of time, but thank you so much for sharing all that with me. And I can't wait for everyone else to have the chance to get stuck into season two. Yes. Thanks a lot. Lovely thank to meet you. Okay. Thanks, Sarah.